Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa D'Amico with the Rockland Arts Festival. I have the pleasure today of speaking with Gina Engels from Myriad Mirage Nature Jewelry. I mean, the nature part is so beautiful and it's such a gorgeous tribute to mother nature what you do through jewelry so gina please take us on your journey of inspiration and technique absolutely well thank you for having me um it has been a really awesome journey with myriad mirage um we're going on our 11th year actually this year in 2024 of how this all started so the story goes um i Live, I've lived in Nyack for 13 years. And so 11 years ago, we got the 17 year cicada emergence that took over Nyack and took over different places in the United States. And so thousands of cicadas were all over the place. And I grew up, believe it or not, a little freaked out by most bugs. So this experience was very interesting. To make it a little bit shorter, I was walking down my street and I saw these wings on the ground and they were so beautiful that I freaked out. I put them aside and I said, oh my gosh, I have to make something with them. But what is this bug? And then I found out about the emergence. And so thousands of wings were on the ground that year. And I just felt like I had to collect them and make jewelry with them. And I still have wings left. So that's really like how this began um, and sparked this all. Um, so yeah, it's been really cool. I have a question. Did Prior to that experience, had you ever made jewelry before? So believe it or not, two months before that, I was doing like the wire wrapping with the stones. But um, other than that, not really. I grew up crafty like as a little kid, but no, not really. So <laughs> your necklace, is that the wings? Oh, yeah. So these are the wings. These are the wings. I did put some color in there, but uh, yeah, good job noticing. I made sure to to wear it so I could show you. <laughs> and I actually do have some wings hiding around here. I could always show you guys, but you'll probably see it at the, the arts festival coming up. Yeah. So I'm so excited to be a part of that. So Gina, where do you get your sources? Because I know you you also include a lot of floral and um, in your jewelry. Absolutely. So I actually have the blessing of supporting a lot of local farmers and florists for herbs like sage, um, Flower Moon Farm. I've met her in Piermont recently. An example is also a Bluefield Farm from Vlavelt. I've gotten a lot of flowers from them, like Queen Anne's Lace and um, Poppy Flowers um, status. So yeah, so mostly local things I'll also collect outside as well. I have a Nyack native ferns outside my house. So yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. I am really impressed. Over time, um, does it ch does because you're using a natural element? Will it change over time in terms of oh, color and even size? Great question. <laughs> so, so great question. I've had the opportunity to obviously see that over time now since it's been eleven years. <laughs> so, with trial and error, some things do fade over time, but a lot of things like hydrangeas, um, say chamomile flowers rose petals, I've gotten it to actually, a lot of them keep their color really, really great. So it really is the best thing about it is to be sure that it's like not always in the sunlight, but really they keep their color really well as I've gotten better at it, so. <laughs> I, Cause I, I really am, I, I'm a jewelry fan. P I think people take jewelry for granted. They don't understand the difficult process. Like it is labor intensive. Yes. Absolutely. When, when it's a real artist, like someone like you, who starting at really at zero to create this incredible wearable art. Yeah. So about the process, do, would you like to hear like a gist Please. of that? Yes. All right. So I'll give you a gist. So it's funny because I'm so used to doing it that, you know, over time it's like, if you feel like, oh, it's, you know, it's going fast, <laughs> but it really is a step-by-step -step process, like you said. So basically, usually um, I will start with fresh flowers. And so I do the old book method, which is really, you know, simple and pressing them. So I'll use some printer paper, put them in some books. I also have some like flower presses, um, but that really works well. So then, you know, you, that takes like anywhere from like three to like three days, to, like two weeks, you press them or the herbs. And then, yeah, I take them, I seal them. It's like a low density polyethylene, um, non-toxic resin material, basically. It's the best way to put it. 
Um, and after that, then I will do like the simple soldering, which I use, it's called silver solder, but really it's uh, consists of three metals, silver, tin, and copper, lead and nickel free. Um, that's really good for my allergy friends, like people that are allergic to nickel. It, they're really good with my jewelry. So yeah, and then I solder it and I do the metal work and, um, you know, wash it and everything. And yeah, so it's kind of a step-by-step -step thing like that to just, there's a little- it's beautiful <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, and the way it can, I mean, even the, the resin part, which essentially should be clear, there is an iridescence to it. There is yes. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so in some stuff I do add some like non-natural material to add some color, like I'll do some recycled papers or I'll use some like glittery colors or vinyl um, just to give it some colors and really I think color is really important in the world and important for like our mood and personality so yeah and Gina when I was looking at your website which will be included in this video um you you make your prices so affordable to everyone everyone can wear your jewelry and eat, give it as a gift and I love that you'll also do multiples of the same thing if somebody wants to do it for bridesmaids or just a special occasion yeah. that you give everyone in the in in attendance this this special memento and you're all bonded by the same piece I think it's wonderful what you do thank you so much um yeah that was really exciting when you said the bridesmaid part so I was thinking about that today it's really um a blessing to be able to save flowers from weddings and and also make many of the same but they'll always be a little different but yeah so yeah, it's really fun. I love it. It's Wonderful. <laughs> the gift you know? to share, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with me today. And I recommend to everyone listening, please visit Gina online and also see her work in person on February 4th. Gina, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs>